but they're making a female version of the office to in Australia. It had to be Australia. Now, did Ricky Gervais um, allow this? I don't know. Did he sell the rights? Does he not care because it's in Australia? They've had America. They've had England. Um, Australia is the furthest down. Now, if you want to do a ranking system of Western countries and how much they suck, I mean, Australia is doing things where, you know, they're spraying spray paint on their face, calling it chroming like Mad Max. A couple of kids have died from that. They're doing that there. Um, the mullets have never been out of style there. You know how in North America, mullets were like a, an 80s thing. And then they became a 90s like trailer park thing. And then they became a meme. And now they're like a six layered meme where it's actually like the guys who are supposed to be the coolest, like Chad's have mullets and mustaches. Well, in Australia, it just never went out of style. It's just the norm. It's like a normal haircut. It's like if, you know, 80s and early 90s punk mohawks was really big one with the pink or purple spikes or green spikes. It's like if that just stayed and became a normal haircut. That's what mullets are in Australia. A The freaks won in Australia. <laughs> Do I need to explain this to you guys? Have you seen Avi in many videos where every boy, he's getting, hey, Avi, I've had enough of you. <laughs> what you're doing? And they all got mullets and they're wearing like um, Nike fluorescent green and pink tracksuits from 1989. And they're hideous, of course. And the girls have armpits and they're like, Oi, Avi, we've had enough of you interviewing people in the streets. I'm going to throw my voice here. But if you want, if you ever seen anything about Australia, you know it's a little backwards and, and on the lower rankings of the Western democracy tier. Now, I'm not saying Canada is much better, but still. Um, we're above Australia where, you know... The, the police are coming over Facebook posts and mullets are everywhere. The office comedy franchise will see middle management led by a woman for the first time in an Australian version that will play on Amazon, Amazon's prime video. Going to watch that Australian comedian, actor Felicity Ward, uh, from two shows that you haven't heard of the in betweeners too, uh, will portray Hannah Howard, the MD of packaging, if you, if you notice me pausing, it's because, like, this is Australia speak. The MD of packaging company, Flinley Craddock, The Office Australia. Um, in post-COVID plot twist, Howard gets news from head office that her branch will be shutting down and that staff will have to work from home. She goes into survival mode, making promises she can't keep, and launches outlandish plots in order to keep her work family together. So you know what's going to happen, right? You know exactly what's going to happen. Female boss, you're going to have multiple gay characters. You're going to have at least one trans character. You're going to have, you know, she's going to, there's going to be stuff about things being too offensive. There's going to be stuff about inclusion and diversity. And it won't, and it won't be jokes. It'll be like stuff that's like, we're going to put this in here to remind you what the right things are. And then we'll get to the jokes. We're going to teach you a lesson before you get any jokes out of us. Here's the Ricky Gervais stuff. The Australian adaptation is the 13th iteration of the show that was originally created by Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. 13th iteration? Other international retreads have included those in France, Canada, Chile, Israel, and the Middle East. What was Canada's office? I have no idea. So maybe Ricky Gervais is just... You know, he's willing to sell it, but if he still got his name on it, I'd be disappointed if it was woke. There still is hope that it's not going to be because it's him. Would he? I don't know if he'd allow that. Does he get final say on the script? I mean, that would be a little, a little much for anyone to say, hey, the script has to be passed by this guy, or was it? I don't know. Does the, does the, um, Walking Dead guy get a say on every script in regards to, you know, the 17 walking, uh, the, the still walking dead. I don't remember what they're called. The walking alive. I don't remember. Does he still get it? I don't know. Um, I was trying to click on to find out who the star is. Felicity Ward. We're going to look her up and see if we recognize who that is. Obviously, we don't. Australian comedian. Um, she's from Kilke, 
New South Wales. I don't have any hope. We're going to find out what the Canadian office do. What the hell is that? Well, that job? Oh my, this can't be it. It's an adaptation of the British show, The Office. Okay, it is. It lasted, it, oh my God, it must have been French what they said. A French-Canadian comedy show television series set in Montreal, Quebec. An adaptation of The Office called La Job. That literally just means The Job. Uh, you're not really, not really getting much out of there. National industry leaders, Les Papier, the papers. The papers Jennings. This is so stupid. Even in like a synopsis on a Wikipedia page, this is stupid. A multinational carton and packaging company is restructuring. The regional manager of their branch on Cote de Lise Saint Laurent in Montreal is David Gervais. The name is an obvious to Ricky Gervais. I want to throw my mouse at the screen right now. That is the one of the worst things I've ever read in five five sentences, four sentences, maybe even two. That's one of the worst ideas I ever heard. They just take the story, do the most half-assed job, and we'll name the guy David Gervais. Even though everything's the same, and everyone looks the same, I'll show you the pi picture of the cast. They've got, you know, just mocked versions of all these people. Even though, like, that's obviously the one guy whose name I forget with the ears. That's obviously Dwight. And then, like, even though it's the same, you guys, We'll just call it the papers and we'll call him David Gervais. Well, we have to remind you because Ricky Gervais is a French sounding name. We'll go David Gervais. And this is great writing. Turn it up, Jordan. 